I'm going to be changing the seals on a D3 cat dozer, but cat are pretty much all the same. So there's a set screw underneath here. You've got to unturn this to back that out. You're going to have to pull this pin right here. So you take off this nut, drop that out, drive out the pin, lift this up, and I'll show you on the other side how far I am ahead right now. So like I said, I, I pulled the, the bolt out, pulled out the pin, it's right here. And now uh, we're getting ready to back this off. I've taken the set screw out, it's right underneath this, right here. And the set screw now is up on top, so all I gotta do is break this free. Now, if you don't have a jaw, this, this would take a pipe wrench um, up to five inches. You can use some big channel locks. And if they don't work, you would take a grinder and just grind a slot right across, not too deep, so you compromise the metal, and then you just chisel it out, moving it to loosen, if you have to. That's the last resort. But um, I did put a pair of channel locks on it, these big ones right here, and I was able to break it free. So we will take this apart piece by piece next. That's where that set screw was in. Just a regular Allen wrench. So you can see my come along is attached. I have it to a fixed point, another tractor over there with a chain on it. And you just nice and gingerly pull, pop this apart. And here's your the seals on the front. There's going to be some on the back. we got to continue out. But we don't want, as we're going out, we're going to raise this up a little bit so we don't scar up or any do any damage to anything here because everything really looks good and shiny and smooth and true. So we just got to change seals. All right, so the, the come along did a nice job. Now we have everything exposed. What I'm going to do now is flip this around. So this end is over here toward the blade. And I'll be able to work on getting that big nut or bolt off. That one's a bolt. Some of them are not. Um, so we got to take it all apart and start replacing the seals. Okay, so now I've reversed this setup. Got the pin in here so it won't turn. And now I'm going to try to use this inch and a half breaker bar socket. Probably going to have to put a persuader on the end of it because these are super tight. Okay, so I just zapped this off. washer off with it there's a gear lube that goes inside uh, where this bolt is so that's why you want to stand these up and uh, keep that gear lube in there and when you take it apart it's really best to keep everything the way you came off the way it came off so there's no guessing game I'm gonna set that just like that and this guy has to come off too and we got to clean them next So these are the actual CAT brand seal kit, $113 from my local CAT dealer. These are the exact same parts, aftermarket, $23. So you're just paying for the name, I suppose. I've always used aftermarket 
but I wanted to do a comparison for myself to see what one looks more hardier and different and uh, they really do look identical so um, food for thought uh, probably gonna return these I just gonna use these okay so I like to use these my dental picks I call them they're actually carburetor cleaners to get uh, gaskets in and out so I'm gonna set that guy right down there this guy here it's just like a bracelet type I call it a bracelet and that just pops off too you clean everything and you put your your seals back in and remember the way that this goes this was top and bottom right so this is the top still So this inner ring, it's, which is totally destroyed, this is really the source of my leak, but we're changing everything while you got it apart. So you're going to get um, your own way of getting lift on this seal right here. And I find that these little um, pry bars have just the right angle. And of course, it's got a hammer end, so these are cheapies at uh, Arbor Freight. And it's working so I'm going to continue on um, you don't need to watch every second of this okay so I just um, tighten this down I did replace all the the um, seals uh, and inside and outside of course cleaned everything first and now we're ready to put it back together and it's important to tell you that you should lube up these ends with hydraulic oil. Don't use a different oil, use the hydraulic oil and that will get you sliding back much easier and you won't scuff up your handiwork that you just did. Okay, so I got everything pretty much together. I just gotta tighten up that bolt um, and we'll give it a test run after I top off my hydraulics and we'll see if there's any weeps. All right. Wish me luck. No drip. Uh, really well. So when I when I put this together, I loosened this up so it would push back any oil that was still in this cylinder and release some pressure. I never tightened it up, so if you see some oil spray, it's because of that. So if you have to do that, make sure you tighten it up is my word of advice. Don't forget, don't do what I do. Anyhow, it's all good. No drips, no leaks. Mission accomplished.